Hey everybody, Joanne Rogers here. Welcome to my studio. Uh, for those of you who have not seen me before, I'm Joanne Rogers. I am a Stampin' Up! Demonstra demonstrator in Central Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. Today I've got another Facebook Live for you and I want to show you a cool card and how to use your sponge daubers. Uh, we have some things. Hi Ruth, hi Jennifer, glad you're here. Um, I have some things that I want to tell you a little bit before we actually get there. Hi Lori, glad you joined in. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all is pick from, uh, we have a winner from uh, two weeks ago. So the last time I did a uh, the Facebook Live and I did it and we made these cards. So you might remember we made, I think one's wrong way. That one's going that way. So we made these cards. One was, um, this guy's the guy that we made and we used the white shimmer paint on our glossy uh, with our refills. And so uh, that is the card and this card as well. We didn't make it during the Facebook Live, but I have that to give away as well. So let's, uh, take a look here and see so if you shared that video last time then I've got your name in my little uh, can here so let's see if we can pick a name here and it's Ruth so Ruth congratulations so I've got these cards for you and Ruth I'm going to be seeing you this weekend because you're in the uh, snow uh, snowflake the showcase snowflake show Snowflake Showcase, I've got that wrong. Class, and so that's going to be on Sunday, so I'll have those at your spot for you. Hey, Bonnie, glad you joined in. So thanks very much for sharing, and if you share uh, this video as well, and let me know you're doing it, so let just let me know that you uh, shared it, and I'll put your name in the draw for next time as well. And uh, also, if you comment, so for every time that you make a comment, I'll also put your name in the draw. So that way we can get lots more people in there, and you'll increase your chances of uh, winning the prize. So I, as most of you know, I am starting a feature where I have a product of the week. So uh, thanks for sharing, Jennifer. Hi, Kathy. So my product of the week this week is snow. So what that means is that really anything that you can think of that could be snow or looks like snow uh, could show up on a blog poster in what I'm doing this week. So it fits perfectly because we're doing the uh, Snowflake Showcase class on Sunday. So if you're following me on my blog, I posted this uh, yesterday, so Tuesday. And what I was showing you how to do is how to emboss thinlets. And so I've got uh, two takeaways there. I've got one which is something that you can pin so it's a picture of the sandwich that you need to build for your big shot um, with this card as well if uh, you would like to have a PDF so I'm gonna pull that back a little bit there's a PDF of how to make this card so you can just jump on over to uh, my blog and I also had it on the um, on here so on the design with Joe VI peeps so you could get it there too so that was from yesterday so that's great so uh, for those of you who uh, don't know I just came back from Orlando so Stampin Up had their uh, 30th anniversary just this past uh, weekend so actually it started last Wednesday and went through to Saturday and it was a really fun time for everybody that was there all kinds of learning just imagine 7,000 stampers in one place so it was at the Orlando Convention Center and uh, mostly women majority but there are some gentlemen who are uh, excellent stampers and demonstrators as well and we were really spoiled so we came home with all kinds of freebies and giveaways and Bonnie was there and Trudy and Marilyn from my team were there as well and so we had uh, we had some fun and uh, I think I'm going to do a separate Facebook Live. One of the benefits of going is that you get to do a pre-order. And my pre-order arrived about an hour and a half ago. So I've got some new things out of the catalog. We can't order everything out of the catalog, but we can order a, uh, a little bit uh, that we can. So I'm going to show you those. Maybe tomorrow I'll do that. But there's one thing I pulled out of my box that I want to show you. And I'm going to hold it up here. And it's fairly large. So hold on just a second. Let's see if we can get it into the... The picture so it is this bag and it's actually called a craft and carry tote 
and everything that I'm going to be working with today to make our project I've got in here and so I am going to turn my camera and I want you to see the inside because this is uh, a really sturdy well-made tote and I think that you uh, might like to see it so hold on I'm going to turn you around and let's see if I can get that to work properly now can everybody see that let me know if you can't see it because I think maybe I there that might be better okay can everybody see that I'm just going to see too I have to get myself up on my Facebook live here there we go okay so now I can see your comments coming up too so this is the bag so you can see that there's compartments in here but one of the best things about this is that these compartments are configurable by you so you can see there's velcro here there's two long ones and two short ones so that you can make uh, little compartments and I'm thinking that I might actually even be able to fit my big shot in here if I didn't have these compartments in so uh, this is the bag it's great because it's uh, all lined and it's a good color for the most part it's a dark color it's got some white here but it's not going to show the dirt as much and you can't see the bottom maybe when it's empty I'll show you it's got little feet on it so that it's not going to get quite as dirty on the bottom either okay so let me pull some stuff out of here so this is fantastic look how long this is you can fit your stamp and trimmer in here so oh my stamp and trimmer actually is stuck in there there we go okay that was really graceful. Okay, there's my stamp and trimmer. I'm gonna pull that aside. And we're gonna be working again with the snow is glistening and the snowfall thinlets, mainly the thinlets today. So we're gonna need those. I'll put those aside. I'm just gonna move this a little bit here. Uh, I've already pulled out the stamp that we're going to be working with and put it on my acrylic block and I'll show you which one in just a minute. I'm going to need a sponge dauber so I'll pull that out of the bag. Here's my cards that I'm going to work with. I've got two colors of ink, one upside down. I've got Mary Merlot which we're going to stamp with and grey granite which we are going to sponge with. Uh, oh, I'm going to leave those to last. Those are the cards. And I've got my metallic pearls. There's gold and there's silver. I've got my dimensionals. What else have I got? Oh, I've got this beautiful ribbon. So it was on that green card with the tree. This is the Mary Merlot and copper. So it actually is reversible. Mary Merlot on one side and a really pretty coppery sheen on the other. Um, oh, and there's zippers here. So in my zippered pocket, I have my snips. I have my snail, I've got my bone folder, one a brand new one for me, which I just got at Center Stage, which is an event also at the uh, convention, and then my stamp and Pierce tool, and I think that's all I have in here, so you can see I could have fit way more in there if I needed to. And then here's the card that we are going to be working on today. So I've done two versions, and this is one that I did on glossy paper, and this was the first one that I did, and then I did a second one, and this is the one that we are going to be making today, because there's a little different technique on this one than there is on this one. So when I do the card, I'm going to end up showing you both the techniques, and what I like about this card is that it folds pretty much flat so it's not it's going to go into the uh, mail super easily and it's not going to stick up this one has a little bit of a bow but it still lies pretty flat so on this one i may actually do this on today's card too okay so let's get started now that i have a mess here of everything it's all all in one place so what i'm working with is i've got uh, Mary Merlot and this is a four and a quarter by 11 sheet of cardstock folded in half at five and a half I've got a piece of my mossy meadow and this is four by five and a quarter and I've got a piece of just plain whisper white it's not the thick uh, just plain whisper white and it is I think this one is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth so this is what we're actually going to do the majority of our work on so you can hear the tapping that's my dog walking on my floor here so the gray granite is what we're going to be using mostly and what I did is I created I cut out a framelit a thinlet actually so the one I used was this guy right here so this big snowflake which is uh, seems quite large but it really is a beautiful uh, shape and uh, really lots of intricate designs on there and uh, 
I've used this on a couple of our cards that we're going to be working with on Sunday. So I'm going to use it. I did cut out one. There's, here it is here. I cut one out here. Whoops, I just can't pick it up. And I did this one out of the thick vanilla. And this one is just plain out of the uh, regular Whisper White. And you can see that that one sort of got some cool color on it. So we're going to use both of these. But first, I'm going to start with the framelit itself. So I put my framelit down. I'm going to pull out a sponge dauber. And this is the sponge dauber that I have for the gray granite. So I'm just going to tap right over top. And what's great about the daubers, if you don't have any of these, it's one great way that you can keep your fingers semi-clean. You may still get them a little bit um, inky, but not a heck of a lot. So here you go. I am going to sponge right over top of my framelit. And why I'm using my framelit is I found when I was using this guy, because it's so large and these are delicate, if I was sponging over top of them, I ended up bending my framelit, my, my die actually. So I thought, well, what happens if I use the framelit, the metal part itself? And this is the result I got. So all you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to go all the way around and you are just going to tap. And I found that if I tapped, I got the best coverage. And I'm starting by tapping, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to swirl after. And the reason for that is I want to soften up my edges. So I want it to be fairly dark because I want to create um, as much as I can in terms of a shadow around the outside of my frame. Whoops, I just moved it a tad. And I don't think you really need to use washi tape or tape or anything like that to hold this down. I'm holding it. I've got a pretty firm grip, I guess, with my left hand on it. So I'm just creating that shadow on there. And for right now, mostly what I'm interested in is creating the outside shadow. So I'm going to go around and come at it from the other side. What's great about this one is you can see exactly where you have created your sponging. So I'm going to keep on going here, get all the way around. There. So now I have an outline of the entire thing. So if I pull that off, that's what I have, which is quite pretty. I like that. However, I would like to have a little bit more detail. So I can put this right back on. I know exactly where it goes because I, there's the shadow. Now I could go in and I would have to tap into all of these ones. And if I do that, I'm going to pull it off again for you. You can see I'm getting a little bit more there, but not as much as I want. So now I come in with the one that I created. You can see that's going to fit. We know exactly where that needs to go as well. And this one I do need to tap on. I can swirl a little bit. I don't want to come in from the outside because I don't want to have my um, pieces fold up on me. So here I'm swirling. I want to get into all those little intricate spots. Again, I have a fairly firm hold on my left hand. Now, if you want all the spots, get in up top. Oops, I moved it. So once you start making a couple of these, it's not going to take you that long. I'm going to move the whole thing. I'm just going to show you a little bit more because I want to show you how defined that is on the inside. Because, because with the metal one, you can't get in there. It's just too thick. So even though you get lots of precise placement with the sponge daubers, it's just a little bit too thick, I found. So let me pull that off now. So there's what I have. So I'm quite happy with this. I like that a little bit better than just having it if I had gone around the outside edges. So if I wanted, I could soften those up a little bit, but I'm gonna say that that's okay. So I'm done with the sponging. The next part is quite easy, stamping. So I've got Mary Merlot, and again, the snow is glistening, and this is an exclusive set, as are the Thinlets, only available until the end of November, and you've probably seen it everywhere because it is a really a beautiful stamp set. And I just, I really do like this tree. It's probably one of my favorites in here, but it has some really nice sayings too. So the one we're going to use today is each snowflake is beautiful, sparkling, and special, just like you. So I already have that on my block. 
And one of the nice things that's coming too in January is we're going to have cling stamps. So these are photopolymer, but if you have the problem where your clear stamps fall off of your blocks, that's not going to happen anymore. So we're going to be able to get them to stick and they really do stick, let me tell you. So I'm going to stamp this. I'm going to actually stamp it a little bit off center. I could stamp it right in the middle, but let's be a little bit different. So I'm going to try and get that straight. There you go, and I should probably be stamping on my mat. And now I need to put some ribbon on, but I'm going to first of all put it onto my um, mossy meadow. So I'm just going to get my snail, which is on here somewhere. Here it is. Put my snail on. I'm trying to use a little less than I normally do. And then I just have a little tiny bit of a border here. Yes, because I did give myself just an eighth of an inch. So there we go. And we're going, I think I'm just going to put this flat because I do want to be able to get this through the mail. So when I'm doing it flat like this, I just give myself maybe an extra inch, half an inch on either side. And I'm going to cut this off. Normally I use my fabric scissors, but I just cleaned these guys. So if you ever need to clean that gunk off of your uh, snips, just take uh, an alcohol wipe and you can actually go um, and get that gook off of there so that it works. So two pieces of snail on the back here and then place it down. And I happen to have just a tiny little smudge there so now I've covered that up. There we go. And it's really really pretty. I don't know if you can see the shine through the through the screen there. And now I'm just going to put the whole thing down on top of my car. There we go. And I'm using my card so that it's going to open from the right to the left. And put that straight down over top. And then I need, what do you think I should use? Should I use some gold or maybe some silver on this one? I used gold on that other. I do think the gold maybe picks up the copper a little bit better. So I'm going to pick up with my pokey tool. I have a little dot over here, so I'm going to cover that up. So this is what I do a lot of. I do a lot of covering up with um, with really cute little things like my um, rhinestones and my pearls. Oops, that guy wants to go right there. So we're gonna leave him, let him go right there. And we'll put this one, I did like this one over here, I think. Now, I think I've said this before, but you always wanna have odd numbers. So I'm gonna go for five instead of three. Three probably isn't quite enough. We'll put that over there. Oh, nope. Why I don't like this here, it's almost like on a straight line. So I'm going to move that up. I didn't put it down really, really hard. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, it does want to come. Okay, there we go. So there's our card. So a really, really simple card. Uh, you could whip up a, a bunch of these probably really quickly. And so if it's last minute and you are, I don't know, it's December 17th and you haven't gotten your cards made yet or out the door, this might be one that you want to uh, make. It's really quick. I love the, the mix of colors on here. And I love that you just get a suggestion of the snowflake as opposed to an actual die cut. Now, where did I put that other die cut? One of the things you can always do is, this is the die cut I was using for my other cards. You can use that on another card now. So I would maybe stamp Joy. So you can tell here, Joy fits right in the middle there. And I would probably put that on another card, maybe on a, um, a Whisper White. So that's what it would look like if I used it on the Whisper White and I didn't have all that shadow. But I think it would be pretty cool. And if I put another snowflake on top, maybe with a faceted gem. So that's a couple ways. And then there's one where that I just used, just a little bit of sponging. So I'm going to turn you back around now. So that's the project, really quick and easy. I wanted to make sure you had something that would be really fast today. So I'm going to turn you around. So hold on. Go. Hey Judy, how are you? Yeah. And Dorothy? I'm not quite got you. There we go. That's a little bit better. So I've got to figure out why you're not quite so I don't want to have my face like completely in the middle and so that you can see. So I, I've got to turn this down just a bit. So I will get that figured out a little bit more. I'm going to have to rearrange my room a little bit. So uh, the giveaway for next week. So again, every comment that you make, I will put your name in the draw and every share 
um, I'll also put your name in the draw. And if you haven't signed up for my Facebook group yet, make sure you do that. It's called uh, Design with Joe VI Peeps, and I post different things there, some things the same, but I want to get us uh, working together as a fun crafting community, and I want to get some conversation going there. I have people sharing what they're creating, and that's fun because everybody can learn from everybody else. So again, uh, please share, please comment. I would uh, love to see you if you have any questions. If you would like to join my team and if you'd like to get that bag now, you can get it as a pre-order pre between now and January 2nd. So send me an email, send me a message, give me a call. I would love to chat with you about uh, joining Stampin' Up! and someone having fun with the rest of our team. So thanks very much and we will see you guys. Uh, next time on my next Facebook Live next week at 4.30 next Wednesday. Bye-bye.